There's a saying that goes, behind every successful man, there is a woman. In SpaceX's success story, Gwyn Shotwell stands behind Musk. Most of the time, all the credit goes to Musk, but the president of SpaceX is more deeply involved in the company's operations than Musk ever is. This is because Musk has multiple companies to oversee, and he has entrusted SpaceX to capable hands. When Gwyn Shotwell joined SpaceX in 2002, the company was a small startup with big goals, but a lot of challenges. SpaceX was founded by Musk in 2002 with the goal of making space travel cheaper and eventually sending people to Mars. However, the company faced financial problems, technical issues, and doubt from an aerospace industry dominated by big companies like Boeing and Lockheed Martin. At the time, SpaceX had a small team of engineers working in a warehouse in El Segundo, California. The company was focused on building its first rocket, the Falcon 1, but progress was slow and money was tight. Musk had invested much of his PayPal earnings into the company, but success seemed unlikely. SpaceX was burning through cash quickly, and failure seemed almost certain. Gwyn Shotwell, an experienced engineer and businesswoman, joined SpaceX as vice president of business development. Shotwell played a major role in securing contracts and handling the tough world of aerospace sales and negotiations. While Musk was the visionary driving SpaceX's long-term plans, Shotwell was the practical force keeping the company running. SpaceX's first attempts to launch the Falcon 1 were full of problems. Between 2006 and 2008, the first three Falcon 1 launches failed, costing the company money and morale. By 2008, SpaceX was close to bankruptcy. It was Gwyn Shotwell's determination and negotiation skills that helped save the company. In late 2008, Shotwell finalized a $1.6 billion contract with NASA under the Commercial Resupply Services Program. This contract, which required SpaceX to deliver supplies to the International Space Station, gave the company the financial stability it needed. Gwyn Shotwell's contributions to SpaceX went far beyond securing contracts. As the company's president, she oversaw a period of incredible growth and innovation. Under her leadership, SpaceX achieved milestones that changed the aerospace industry. One of the biggest achievements was the development of reusable rocket technology. The Falcon 9, first launched in 2010, became SpaceX's most reliable rocket. In December 2015, SpaceX successfully landed the first stage of the Falcon 9 rocket, reducing launch costs significantly and making space more accessible. Shotwell marketed this achievement to customers and secured launch contracts, helping SpaceX become a leader in the industry. By 2024, the Falcon 9 had flown over 120 successful missions, carrying satellites, cargo, and crew. Shotwell also managed the development and use of the Dragon spacecraft, the first commercial spacecraft to deliver cargo to and from the International Space Station. The first successful cargo mission happened in 2012, marking a huge step for SpaceX in the commercial space industry. The Dragon program grew to include the Crew Dragon, which took astronauts to the International Space Station for the first time in May 2020 under NASA's commercial crew program. All of these achievements are significant, but they pale in comparison to what Gwyn Shotwell has accomplished with the Starship rocket. This rocket is the largest and most powerful ever built, designed to carry humans to Mars and beyond. Many critics doubted that such an ambitious vehicle could ever lift off from Earth, let alone achieve its goals. However, SpaceX proved everyone wrong when they launched Starship for the first time on April 20th, 2023, from their Boca Chica launch site in Texas. The first fully stacked Starship launch was a milestone for SpaceX and the aerospace industry. Despite its dramatic end with the rocket exploding mid-flight, due to issues with stage separation, the launch demonstrated that the rocket could successfully clear the launch pad and achieve significant altitude. This was a critical step forward for the program, proving that the immense thrust of its 33 Raptor engines could lift the massive rocket into the sky. The second launch, conducted on November 18, 2023, showcased significant improvements. 
SpaceX had addressed the stage separation issue and the rocket achieved higher altitude and performed more planned maneuvers. Although it still ended in an explosion during reentry, this flight provided valuable data that informed future designs and optimizations. By the end of 2024, SpaceX had conducted six Starship test flights in total, each building upon the lessons learned from previous attempts. The last two launches, Flights 5 and 6, were particularly noteworthy for their success and advancements. Flight 5, launched on October 13, 2024, marked a historic milestone. It was the first time the Super Heavy booster successfully returned to the launch site and was caught by the mechanical Mechazilla arms. Flight 6, conducted on November 19, 2024, focused on the Starship's upper stage capabilities. It successfully reignited its Raptor engines in space and deployed a payload simulator. Now, SpaceX is preparing for the seventh Starship test flight, scheduled for early 2025. This mission will include upgrades to the rocket's payload capacity and enhancements to flight duration. It aims to achieve a near-orbital mission, a critical step toward human missions to Mars and other deep space destinations. Some might argue that SpaceX succeeded simply because there were no other private space companies at the time, but that is far from the truth. Blue Origin, founded around the same time as SpaceX in 2000, had similar ambitions, but vastly different results. While SpaceX conducted 79 launches in 2023 and over 90 in 2024, Blue Origin managed just two launches in 2023 and three in 2024. Blue Origin's new Glenn rocket, touted as a competitor to the Falcon Heavy, has yet to make its debut. Their repeated delays and lack of operational capacity highlight the stark contrast between the two companies. The revenue gap is equally striking. SpaceX generated an estimated $8 billion in revenue in 2023, primarily from commercial launches, government contracts, and the rapidly expanding Starlink service. Meanwhile, Blue Origin's revenue was estimated at under $1 billion, mainly from suborbital tourism and limited commercial payloads. This discrepancy also extends to their valuations. SpaceX, valued at over $150 billion, dwarfs Blue Origin, which is valued at approximately $10 billion. The numbers speak for themselves. SpaceX is in a league of its own. Now, Rumors suggest that Blue Origin is considering acquiring United Launch Alliance, ULA, to improve its standing and narrow the gap with SpaceX. ULA, a joint venture between Boeing and Lockheed Martin, is valued at approximately $4 billion. Acquiring ULA would give Blue Origin access to well-established infrastructure, an experienced workforce, and a strong portfolio of government contracts. ULA's Atlas V and Vulcan Centaur rockets are widely used for high-profile missions, including contracts with NASA and the U.S. Department of Defense. In June 2024, ULA secured a significant share of the $5.6 billion National Security Space Launch Phase 3 contract alongside SpaceX. If Blue Origin successfully acquires ULA, these lucrative government contracts would bolster its revenue and credibility. Additionally, ULA's existing relationships with government agencies and a proven track record of reliable launches would be a major boost for Blue Origin's reputation. This move could help Blue Origin develop its new Glenn rocket more effectively and increase its launch frequency, making it a more serious competitor in the space industry. However, even with ULA's assets, Blue Origin will face significant challenges in catching up to SpaceX's unparalleled dominance in innovation, cost-effectiveness, and reliability. SpaceX's dominance in the aerospace industry is not only due to its technological innovations, but also its unique approach to problem-solving and management. Elon Musk and Gwynne Shotwell have cultivated a company culture that thrives on rapid iteration, bold risk-taking, and relentless pursuit of efficiency. Unlike traditional aerospace giants, SpaceX has embraced vertical integration, where the company designs and manufactures most of its components in-house. 
This approach allows SpaceX to control costs, streamline production, and make swift design changes, a stark contrast to the slower pace of established competitors like Boeing and Lockheed Martin. The result is a nimble and innovative company capable of achieving breakthroughs that were once considered impossible. One of the key factors behind SpaceX's success is its ability to disrupt traditional pricing models in the space launch market. By developing reusable rockets, SpaceX has slashed the cost of launches, making space more accessible to a wider range of customers. The Falcon 9 rocket, for example, has become the go-to choice for commercial satellite operators and government agencies alike, offering reliable launches at a fraction of the cost charged by competitors. This affordability has not only strengthened SpaceX's market position, but also fostered a new era of space exploration, where startups and smaller nations can participate in ventures that were previously out of reach. The Starlink project is another game-changing endeavor that underscores SpaceX's innovative mindset. This satellite internet constellation aims to provide high-speed internet access to even the most remote regions of the planet. By the end of 2024, SpaceX had launched over 5,000 Starlink satellites with plans to expand the network further. This initiative has the potential to generate billions in annual revenue, funding SpaceX's ambitious plans for Mars colonization while also bridging the global digital divide. Unlike traditional satellite internet providers, which rely on a small number of high-cost satellites in geostationary orbit, Starlink's use of low-Earth orbit satellites ensures lower latency and faster speeds, revolutionizing the industry. Despite its unparalleled achievements, SpaceX faces challenges as it continues to push the boundaries of space exploration. The development of the Starship rocket, while groundbreaking, is a complex and expensive undertaking. Each test flight involves risks, and the road to operational readiness is fraught with technical hurdles. Additionally, regulatory approval for Starship's ambitious missions, including lunar landings and eventual Mars colonization, remains a significant obstacle. Environmental concerns regarding the Boca Chica launch site and public scrutiny over the potential risks of large-scale space activity add further complexity to SpaceX's endeavors. Competition is also intensifying as other private space companies ramp up their efforts. While Blue Origin lags behind SpaceX in terms of launch frequency and technological maturity, it remains a well-funded competitor with the potential to make significant strides, especially if its acquisition of ULA materializes. Similarly, international players like China's CSC, China Aerospace Science and Technology Corporation, and Europe's Ariane Group are working to modernize their capabilities, aiming to challenge SpaceX's dominance in the global market. SpaceX will need to continue innovating at a rapid pace to maintain its leadership position. Finally, SpaceX's vision for the future extends far beyond its current achievements. The company's ultimate goal of making humanity a multiplanetary species reflects Musk's belief that colonizing Mars is essential for the long-term survival of our species. While this vision is still years, if not decades, away from fruition, SpaceX is laying the groundwork through its advancements in rocket technology, life support systems, and interplanetary logistics. Gwyn Shotwell's leadership will remain critical in turning this vision into reality, balancing the company's audacious ambitions with the practicalities of running a sustainable and profitable business. As SpaceX prepares for the next chapter in its journey, it continues to inspire a new generation of dreamers, engineers, and scientists, proving that the sky is not the limit, it's just the beginning.